go check it out. So I'm out here in Costa Mesa, coffee shop, and we're about to go do a Rivian Gen 2 test drive. Side by side, you can see the difference in the light bars here. Here's the Gen 1 light bar, a little bit more flat in appearance, whereas the Gen 2 has this little indent all the way across. Look at that. Dynamic adventure lighting. And we have the new 20s over here. Look at that. Unless you're actually like up this close, out on the freeway, you're probably not gonna notice the difference between the Gen 1 and the Gen 2. However, once you do notice them, you now know what to look for, especially if you see them without the tow heads. You'll know that it's a Gen 2 with the uh, standard pack or the lower trim model. But again, as I said, no I actually about prefer about that. You know, if you want a cleaner, cleaner look, you can go with the, the lower trim here. The new bar here. Fortunately, it's not charging right now, so we can't see that animation active yet. But here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of a Gen 1 and a Gen 2 R1S. Wheels. All right, here we go. Hopping in the new Gen 2 R1S. So one of the, the new things is this very well-placed thumb button right here on the handle. So when you want to get out, it's just right there. You don't have to go hunting like, well, where's the release latch? And I'm assuming that's the, uh, the hardware one. Cool. So look at that. Easy, intuitive. Thanks, Rubian. Very cool. Oh, you can, oh, you take the shelf out and put the camp speaker in. There you go. The same back. All right. There you go. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> That's but cool. I believe you can. It's really cool. Nice. And still a lot of good room here. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. So for for me, you know, the, the as cool as it is to have a speaker when you need it, it's like I would rather have more storage here. I like having the cubby here. Actually. Yeah. They did a fantastic job. I was really proud oh, yeah. that. And these seats are still really nice. The camera res is up to date, it looks like, so oh does that goodness. nice. Yeah, that is, especially this. This is really nice. Yeah. Cool. And then uh, any sort of map updates or? Map updates right now, pretty similar, but overall look is still really similar to what we've had now. Um, I believe our, our next software update has a little bit of some differences there, but everything is pretty much in the same placement as far as you know, charging preferences, right? Yeah. That's pretty smooth though, you know, it's, Very smooth. you know, yeah. yeah. Selecting networks are like, you're trying to go fast charging, that's what you're looking at now, right? So yeah. I think just setting the car up is really similar, the same way you would do it with the Gen 1. Was Sorry, what, I, that went by really fast. Was NAX in there? <laughs> the sorry. network? Was NAX yeah. in the network? No, so I put um, Tesla, EV Go, Electrify America. Oh, okay. Uh, these are on the fast charging networks. Gotcha. Charge point EV connector are going to be on like the level 2 kind of slower charge. Yeah. But it still says Tesla, not NAX, so yeah. I was yep. just checking that. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, and like, that's how I set it up though, because like, normally if you're on a road trip or something, you want to set it up for fast charging of course. primarily. So, um, yeah. Awesome. Think, uh, this is really similar looking to what you have in the, the newer updates in the software uh, from what I've seen. So, uh, and uh, what, what is the current peak on the, the charging rates? Like, um, like if you found an Electrify America 350? Oh, it's a 350. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. And which, uh, which battery is this one? This is going to be a large pack, I believe, in this guy. Let me just double check. I can show you. Oh, we actually have a standard pack in this one. Wow. So it's a dual motor, all wheel drive with a standard pack. There we go. That's good to know yeah. for the video so I can we tell just, people what I drove. We actually just got this one like last week, so I still haven't really spent too much time with this one. Yeah. Um, this fan, so that's what we're going to go. We can change accent lighting now, too. So Ooh. this is kind of similar, right? The accent lighting brightness, we can actually change uh, to different accent lighting. Obviously, it's daytime. So yeah, it's going to be yeah. hard to see, but it is really cool. 
uh, the fact that you can kind of do that now. It's really sweet. And I think if you turn the volume up, or you can go in and it plays a, a tone. Oh. So you do it that way. But if I go switch them over. <laughs> Feel cooler already. Yeah. Kind of keep messing with it. That's cool. So I guess that's nice when you drive around the city, but hopefully when you're actually out adventuring, you'll have natural versions of those noises, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> you're actually on a trip. Cool. Yeah, so that's kind of new as well. Um, everything else is pretty much the same here. Um, light bar. Yeah, everything here is pretty much the same. This is kind of new. Right? It's a cool description if you want to. So that's really new with the Gen 2, right? So, so yeah, kind of what this is described, if the car's coming towards you, it actually will adjust the brightness. Oh, so it's okay. not going to blind the person there, right? You have the full beam, and they will kind of guide it if it notices another vehicle, so just guide the beam to a different direction. Oh, I love that. I spent um, a lot of time on country roads, so that would be really nice. Yeah. Very cool. This is more for the high beam assist, too, so it's really if your high beams are on, right? So, mm -hmm. so um, real quick, if we wanted to go to Vegas, in the nav, would it automatically apply in the charging stops? Yep. Or? So, Right now, it would be showing 85 miles, so you're for sure gonna have to charge. Yeah. Um, oh, I forgot to plug in last night. Las Vegas. <laughs> but I gotta get to I gotta get to the convention. <laughs> yeah. So here's just calculating our route. So in a couple seconds here, we'll say start. But right now, it's calculating our route, which it just did. So now you can go right. And it's gonna plan our charging. So Barstow. This is, this is Barstow. Yeah. yeah. I would almost guarantee it's Barstow. Yeah. yeah. I've been to that one a couple of times actually. It's Nice setup. I believe there's six. Oh yeah, the Ram there. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Yep, and more stuff. And those are 150s though, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, I can go to 300. Oh, okay. Well. I can actually find out. Time to go on an adventure. Yep, 300s. Yeah. Oh, very good. Nice. All 300s. Very cool. Yeah. Not bad at all. All right. Yep. We're getting ready to go for a drive. I can't record during the drive, but I'll tell you how I felt after the drive. Let's go. You saw the transfer to the back ones. That was, that's cool. I've seen the. I, I would love to see that more often because then you can really understand <laughs> where the, your power's coming from. That's cool. Nice big display there. Look at that. See everything here. Nice wide display there. Oh, front camera. There we go. <laughs> Ready for some rock mode. This is great. Uh, I can see how close I am to that wall. Very nice. And, you know, very intuitive. If you already drive a Tesla, boom, same same directions here. And then, is there, there we go. All right, that, ooh, very nice. <laughs> All right, there we go. Woo. All right, that is really smooth. I mean, that's my number one takeaway. It's smooth. I've never driven an R1S before, but I've been in them and it always felt kind of big as a passenger. But as a driver, this thing does not feel big. We were in standard height the whole time. We went from soft to firm. Even in firm, it felt really smooth. So I highly recommend. If you can get new Gen 2 or get a good deal on the, the Gen 1, but wow, yes, it is very nice. Okay, there we have it. So out here in Costa Mesa, now I should point out that uh, depending on which day you book for your test drive, you'll either be at the Rivian space in Laguna or at the ranch um, or out here in Costa Mesa at the coffee shop. So book your trial test drive today and check it out. Look, we're just pulling in front of me as I'm leaving the test drive. 